My name is Allison Stoner. I am an Ohio native and a former child entertainer. Wow. Okay, I've got 30 seconds to debrief because I told my nephew I would build something with Legos. So, top priority. If you watched the season finale of Dear Hollywood podcast, I had mentioned big news since the first episode of this season. We've already made inroads, which we can't talk about in detail yet, on getting legislation proposed in another state to protect young performers. Well, today I'm at the Ohio Capitol in Columbus to help introduce new legislation to protect kid influencers with Representative McNally and Representative Grimm. I got there early, felt at ease, walked into the building, and five minutes before the hearing, I thought, it's interesting that no one is coming to grab me in the lobby. I might be missing something, and realized I was actually in the wrong building. So Representative Grimm's aide, Lily, shout out, came to the rescue. We ran to where the hearing was taking place. And I thought, as someone from the media side, someone's probably gonna at least do like a final look and make sure things are in order. No, I walked straight in and we walked straight on to the stage with the podium and cameras were rolling and the conference began. Representative McNally spoke first to lay out the landscape of child labor at large and the importance of protecting children. Social media platforms are the new path for turning unregulated child labor into profits. And then Representative Grimm got into the details of the bill, talking about how it protects a portion of the child influencers' earnings, as well as uh, their privacy, uh, giving them the right to, upon turning 18, request content of themselves as a child to be taken down. Once a minor reaches the age of 18, they may request the removal of any vlog that includes their image or likeness. Online platforms must take all reasonable steps to comply with these requests. Then I gave short remarks. I figured most of the questions will go to the representatives, but it turns out because of the nature of the topic, there were a lot of questions about specificities between traditional media and digital media and how platforms work. And so I provided some subject matter expertise. And there's no union in existence for digital media. If you're not uh, trained in and, and versed in social media platforms, a lot of us are unaware of how many direct and indirect revenue streams exist. So there are a lot of opportunities for the child to be monetized and think they're simply just posting a video. Hopefully I was able to bring in some factors around the experience of fame, the mental health impacts and outcomes, and there's nothing like cameras rolling and reporters listening and you knowing all of your words are recorded, and if you say anything, it could risk ruining the bill moving forward. But I'm really grateful for the experience. Being a part of policy and legislation and reform with state representatives, it's one of the main pillars of my vision for supporting young people in entertainment and the social media landscape. And so I, I'm just want to thank Representative Grimm for taking this issue on and um, we'll see what happens. There are so many steps to this, but if anything, I think it can bring visibility to the fact that this issue is not just affecting a very small portion of people, but we're talking about kids on the internet and lots of young ones have devices, they're recording themselves, they may either monetize their own content or have a parent, family member, guardian, someone in their community monetizing off of them and their presence. So yeah, I've got one more day here in Columbus, then visiting family in Toledo and then heading back to Los Angeles. And in the meantime, continuing to figure out ways to use today as a template um, to approach other states. So keep spreading the word. I'm excited to protect kids together. Me?